Hey guys, Josh here with the Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And no, you didn't read the video title wrong. Today we are making catfish bobbers, and we're making them for under a buck. So stick around. Alright guys, at certain times of the year, presenting your bait underneath a bobber can be one of the most effective methods for targeting large catfish, especially when you're targeting flathead catfish using live bait. Now, on the market today, there are all different types of catfish bobbers, but they all perform the same basic function. They suspend your bait somewhere in the water column and keep it up off the bottom. Now, a while back I did a video showing how to make a bobber using pool noodle. I still use these, they're great bobbers. The link to build those is in the description of this video. But today we're going to be doing it a little bit differently. We're going to be making a bobber. We're going to do it on the cheap. These things are probably going to cost us less than a dollar to make. And they're going to do just as good a job as the expensive ones on the market, even at night. So let's go ahead and go over to the workbench. I'll show you what we're working with today and then you'll be ready to go out, build your own, and start catching more fish. Let's go. For this project, you'll need a 5 8 inch dowel rod, some screw eyes, some epoxy, and your favorite soda bottles. You'll also need a saw, a screwdriver, an awl, and a pair of pliers. Begin by placing the 5 8 inch dowel rod into your miter box. Now the cut length is not a critical dimension, but lengths around a half inch will work well for this project. Cut the dowel rod using your handsaw. You can also use power tools for this step if desired. Once you have your desired number of dowel segments, set them aside. Now remove the caps from your soda bottles. Use an awl or a small nail to make a hole in the center of each of the bottle caps. Then using the awl, mark the center on one end of each of the dowel rod segments. Dispense equal parts of epoxy and hardener, then mix thoroughly. Some epoxy set rather quickly, don't make too much at one time. Insert a screw eye into the top of the bottle cap. Tighten until the rounded part of the screw eye is flush with the top of the bottle cap. Apply epoxy to the inside of the bottle cap and to the screw eye threads. Take care to avoid getting epoxy on the bottle cap threads. Use pliers to hold the bottle cap by the eye, then place the dowel segment against the thread tip. Screw the eye into the section of dowel rod until fully tightened. Continue this process until you have your desired amount of bottle cap assemblies. Now allow your epoxy time to fully cure. Place a cap onto a bottle. The caps are usually interchangeable. Attach your bottle bobber to your slip float rig by placing the sinker slide snap through the eye in the bottle cap. For full instructions on tying this slip float rig, see the link in the video description. Fishing at night? Simply drop a glow stick inside the bottle. It's really that easy. The glow stick will keep your float visible, making sure you don't miss any bites. All right, guys, there you have it. One quick, easy, and effective lighted catfish bobber, and we built it for under a buck. So before we close the video out today, just a couple of comments. One for the bean counters who are probably already have their comment 
halfway type tests, well, the soda costs more than a dollar. Yes, it does. But most of us buy our soda bottles to drink the soda inside. That becomes trash. So I didn't factor that into the cost of the bobber because that's something that's going to be thrown away anyway. Or, if you really want to get technical, I don't know that I've ever been to a boat ramp or a bank fishing spot anywhere outside. It's just probably not a few of these laying around already. So pick them up, clean up the area that you're fishing in, make the water look better, and you get a bobber out of it for free. A parting thought, I know I went over the slip float rig pretty quickly in this video, but I do have a short tip Saturday video that covers that start to finish, how I rig up that slip float rig. I'll leave the link to that video in the description of this one. So once you've built your bobber, go check that out. I'll show you how to rig it. So guys, if this video has helped you out, if you enjoyed the video this week, please take a moment, give it that thumbs up button. And if you're checking me out for the very first time, guys, I post a fishing or boating related tip or trick video every week. If that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it. That way you don't miss any videos. Guys, that's all I've got for this week. I want to try this thing out later on tonight. Thank you for watching. And until next time, we'll catch you out on the water.